All right, all right, all right. So, take number two, not like you know that, but FedEx showed up and uh, the doorbell rang. So, I did, as I put in the intro video, you know, I put on like uh, 20 pounds in the last few weeks. But man, it's like walking down my son's school this morning and uh, through my son's school, I actually wore a tank top, not this one, but a, a, a different one of my tank tops from my shirt company. I was like, dude, looking good. Yeah, and, uh, you know, the ladies are like, yeah, looking good, working out. But man, when I see myself in the videos, because I was having problems with, uh, with focusing, and I don't know why, and I looked at the videos like, ew, look terrible. But anyway, still not bad for 45, I only lift once a week, blah, blah, blah. So, now I got take ups. Um, so professional, isn't it? So today we're going to review the pre-workout, but let's get all the disclaimers out. Chris, thanks brother. My awesome sales rep hooked me up with everything. And it's been a while, but we're here. So these are all given to me and they'll be given away to you. Uh, among other things, purchase 150 bucks worth of supplements and get something free like a mutant cup, maybe some creatine, even a protein. It'll all be up on the website. Uh, it was natural result since 96, as most of you, I don't know, most of you know. Wholesale Subs is the other one. I'll probably just do All Pumped Up Wade, because All Pumped Up is one of my things. Please, please, please purchase from me. If you purchase from that other ginormous company that we all order from, doesn't benefit me. Yeah, it benefits Mutant, but I need the money way more than them, or I need it, you know, over if you buy from another supplement company, just please let me have your business. Uh, and probably out there for my competition, I've been doing this for 20 some years. Uh, I've helped because a private label, I've helped start thousands and thousands of companies through the years. So I do know my supplements. And did I say I'm not a doctor? This is, you know, nutritionist, dietitian. This is just for fun. I'm not advising you what to take, blah, blah, blah. So, <sighs> Manus is their pre-workout. The good and bad about this now this is me personally the only bad thing I have because everybody wants to know all the bad stuff nobody wants to know anything good for me personally I prefer DMMA D, you know Fedra and Fedra DMMHA one of those I do not like caffeine at all and it was pretty cool I had a uh, super intense DNA test and it showed that creatine I mean um, well creatine too uh, caffeine doesn't, it actually puts me to sleep, <laughs> it puts me to sleep, it really does. So that is really the only complaint I have with madness. And I apologize, uh, allergies are still kicking in and I was having a problem all this focusing. So, but anyway, the thing I do like about it, because I have a huge problem with sucralose, that's why I can't really take supplements, even my own line, most of my own line. Uh, but they do have it in there, and when it must be a minuscule amount, and they do use stevia as a sweetener, and I think it could be another reason, but also, I mean, Mutant is a really good company. They know their stuff. Blue Raspberry. I think it's almost like Chris did this on purpose, because <laughs> he did this would take a while to get up. I hate Blue Raspberry. Even as a kid, you know, you go to the, the, the slushy, slurpy machine, and uh, Blue Raspberry was always there. It was like a red, red cherry or whatever, and... and uh, my son, who's seven, I think he like. He had, I mean, my I mean, he kind of does like it. So, being in the back end of it, blue raspberry is actually actually the second most popular flavor in the United States. I think it'll be beaten this year, and I, it's always like a fruit puncher or something like that. That it's always been number one, but. I think this year it'll change because there's a lot of a lot of new flavors. But but you know as we all know, flavor is the most important. Uh, it mixed easy. It's not which I hate. I, 
You don't have to do the whole scooper thing because the stuff actually does taste good. Uh, their BCAs are awesome. I'm not a protein person, but that's, people love it. But yeah, but anyway, well, the BCA will probably be next after this review. So there's stevia in here. Uh, there's 500 megs of caffeine from various different sources. The theobramine I like, the green tea I like. Uh, they use different sources, which you know, everyone has their per personal take on it. And L-citrulline, uh, this is in one little scoop. Is this is another part of getting old? Uh, you can't can't really see it, even though I have my contacts. See, if I didn't have my contacts, then I could read this perfectly. Uh, 16, 1800, 1500 megs, and beta alanine, which is my favorite, is 1250. They use carnosine, which usually doesn't give me the tingling sensation, but I did get a little bit of it. I personally like it. I know most people hate it. Uh, there's other stuff in there. The electrolytes, uh, which is my favorite. Uh, I do, do like that. So overall, here's how I go for, here's how I tell everything about any, any supplements. Try it. For some odd reason you don't like it, you need to tell me. Even if you do like it, I need to know. Uh, so I can find out. You know, hey, if I'm getting, uh, you know, a few dozen people this week, hey, be, you know, all the mutant line was awesome, blah, blah, blah. Even if you say, hey, uh, something didn't mix well or... I'm really not feeling it. I'm here to help, to say, hey, is the product, is it you, your training, you know, I'll, I'll help as much as possible. Because again, I'm here to, to help you out. I've been doing it for 20 supplements, 20, well over 20 years. I've been selling supplements, so, and I've been in the manufacturing side forever, so I do know supplements. And I think that's really it. Uh, it was, oh, so I guess my review on it. So, uh, <laughs> I'm super sensitive to supplements, so I notice every little thing about everything. Uh, good energy. It wasn't, you know, it, was, it was just good energy. It wasn't like, whoa, because it's 500 megs, which is still a lot, even for me. Uh, the pump was good. Wasn't the best I ever had. Wasn't the worst. So, it's, I'm just being honest. Uh, it was good for me. It was good. Uh, I did give out a few scoops to friends, and they all said the same thing. Tasted real good, mixed easily. Pumps were, were good. Uh, some people said, oh, the pumps were awesome. Some people said it was nothing. The energy was all good. Again, it's so hard with the energy because, you know, some people want a hundred megs, some people want a thousand megs, of course. Just alter the dosages. You know, if you need more than 500 megs, which is a lot, you just take a little bit more or whatever. I usually recommend take a, like half a pre-workout or part of pre-workout before you go in and train and sip on it through your workout to keep the pump going and keep everything. Because most people love to do marathon workouts like half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour. So that's my personal take. And of course, stack some other stuff with it. Uh, but again, we'll do the, the BCAs right after this. And... Boom!